Hey guys, RB Reptiles. We have some troubling news. So, we did do the egg cutting on the last video, and we're going to give you an update. And uh, things didn't work out the way we planned, but we want to share it with you, so stay tuned. So, one of the unfortunate things is when you're working with animals, sometimes. Uh, things don't work the way that you'd expect them to in the wild, you know, ball pythons They have like a 20 30 percent rate of living. Maybe maybe more maybe less um, Definitely not a hundred percent and in captivity. We try to get everything to live But every once in a while there's gonna be a deformity or something happens um, Something that most people don't talk about is when two snakes and this happens if you breed a lot of animals You'll find this at some point two snakes might not be compatible um, and two genes might not be compatible. So um, we're not exactly sure what happened, but we're gonna definitely be uh, never uh, pairing those two snakes again, but um, kind of see what else happens with the clutches because it's tough, it's very tough. So this is really sad, but this whole clutch had issues. So we just opened it up. Well, real quick warning if you have a, okay. a queasy stomach. <laughs> so if you, uh, aren't okay maybe skip ahead to our next section of uh stuff in this video but right now we're just going to get into this and we'll get it out of the way if you guys like seeing things like this uh that's what we're going to show you but we just want to do show you the reality of what can happen so we just opened this up um these guys were all alive last night um but it's a real mess so this this one is dead and it's really really kinked up but it's so pretty and we think it was the all gene animal so this one died overnight unfortunately it's really kinked up and it has an overbite this one is super kinked up as well but it is it is alive and um, I just don't know what we can do about that just yet this one here is also very very kinked up and squirrely it's um, probably not the all gene snake but it is alive but it has a really bad overbite and uh, we don't expect any of these actually to, to survive much longer um, this one here doesn't I don't think has any kinks but um, not kinked but it's not healthy it's animal. not healthy it has a crazy overbite as well and um, when it came out of the egg, I think it ripped off its egg sac. Um, so that one's still alive, but probably won't make it much longer either. And, uh, and this one's dead too. Darn it. passed overnight. This one must have passed overnight. This one was a spider OD combo. It's unfortunate. It's really, really sad. And it happens. So we have three still alive, but when they have that overbite, a lot of times they won't eat um, even if you try to force feed them they don't do well um, so and they all even though the ones that are still alive they're really kind of weak and not yeah not looking great like, I don't expect any of them to survive another night really so it's unfortunate but you know it's it's part of the deal and it's really sad because I wanted to see some awesome animals out of this clutch but uh, there was some awesome animals all out all animals are awesome but just uh it sucks so but when you breed animals this kind of stuff can happen so we wanted to show you guys and share it with you guys we don't want to hide it so comment down below if you guys think uh if this has happened to you or, or if you just want to talk about it because it's it's no good not fun so we should try to move on to something else uh maybe a little bit more positive we'll show you guys some other things that we have going on in cooking here in the in the uh, lab, if we will. So I just want to give you guys an update on our spiny assassin bugs. Uh, after a very long, long, long wait, we're finally getting nymphs. These guys, once they mature, which you can see some mature ones right here, will start laying eggs, like one egg a day, for like the rest of their lives, I think. That's how it works. And uh, using tongs because these are venomous and you don't want to be bit by them. 
But the, if you look over here, in this area is where they lay their eggs. And right here you can see one, that little shiny guy. I don't know if the camera can see it. It's very tiny. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Shiny. Yeah, yeah. I can see it on the camera. That's one of the eggs. So it's, I'm having a hard time finding good information about them online about the reproductive cycle. Um, but what I did find was it's like it, they'll hatch like in two months ish, but I haven't really. I mean, they've been laying eggs for a while now, and we're just starting to get nymphs. So hopefully, I can. I don't know if you can see any. There's two down here. Oh uh, yeah, let me zoom in here. So there's two little guys. Very right bottom. The found five nymphs in here so far. And uh, I got a little little baby roach. Let's see if we can get on the. happens almost every time they try to feed these on camera. Get on it. Oh. See one right there. Oh, I could definitely see him real well. A little baby. One over here. This is what they look like as adults. Just hanging out. They're pretty cool looking. Oh, and they're fighting each other. Apparently, they're hungry. Just fed them. They're crazy. Anyway, so this is our spiny assassin colony that's starting to reproduce. I encourage this guy to get out of here so he doesn't get crushed. Just spray them down once a week. I give them a place to uh, molt so they can hang upside down and throw roaches in once a week and the bigger ones I can hand a roach to and they'll take them but these little guys I like last week I put a just dumped a isopod culture in there because they're about the right size for them to eat and they were chowing down so it's cool cool to actually finally see these things hatching very successful Ryan very successful just showing off some of the animals we moved over. Um, this is a hidden gene Walma Mojave Enchi. That's 100% het clown, female. Yes. So, I was, you know, she's got a long way to go before we we're pairing her, but like, right now, we have a, a pastel, yellow belly, spot nose, leopard, Head clown male probably would go swimmingly with this girl mm -hmm. I don't know and that'll all change depending on like what we produce over the coming years or if we decide to pick something else up but um, there's a lot of potential for hidden gene woma and clown I think what do you think let me know if you think that's a good project why don't you show the why don't you show the male well you show the male So all these are all females now. We listened to some of your guys' comments and your so thanks for messages. the comments from last time. Mm -hmm. um, so we have females here. We also have these uh, twenty sea serpents are adult females, and these twenty, it's actually seventeen in here, are adult females. Now all our males are right here now. So we have twenty males. Some of those bins are open because they're pairing right now. Yeah, these guys are actively uh, doing the thing. Uh, we do have a couple more that are growing out, so it's not, you know, this isn't a total picture of what's going on here, but it's a majority. Um, that male that I was just talking about, which I've showed off before, you have to forgive me because I just rearranged everything. I don't have it memorized, but here he is. So putting uh, yellow belly, hidden gewoma, Mojave, you're gonna get like soul sucker-ish 
clown combos with spot nose and leopard. It'd be a pretty Is that interesting stuff. Um, in and of itself, yes, it'd be a Batman plus if it's spot nose leopard clown. Is the Batman right? Yep. So then you're just adding pastel and yellow belly and Mojave and Hedgy Wilma and Enchi. If you hit all of them. So that would be interesting. Yeah, man. We'll see. Long, long odds. Just the way we like them. <laughs> Seriously, most of our pairings this year are like super long odds. Like it's. Have you saw what happened with the last one? Sometimes they can bite you in the butt. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're also going to show you an update on the Emperor Scorpions. Here's one of them. Looking good. Um, spray these down, the same thing. Spray them down once a week. Um, if they get too dry, they don't like it, I'm going to give it a little roach. And what I do with these guys, I pre-kill them, so I'll just pop the head. And that way it's not gonna go nuts. So let's see if this guy wants to eat. No. Always oh, camera shy. Well, <laughs> seems a little uneventful but then I just once I pop the head I just leave them in there so normally I check them the next day and they're all gone they are cool Emperor Scorpions yeah thank you so much for watching guys make sure to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already leave us a comment down below let us know you like what you're seeing or if you want to see anything else uh go over and check out our other channel too if you will herp house rock uh we got some really cool interviews over there and we got them lined up for like months so hope you like them bye <laughs>